you want a 762 NATO DMR and Escape from Tarkov, your usual go-tos are the RSS, M1A, etc. The base price of the RSS and the mod ability needed for the M1A now to make it any good has meant that if you die with an M1A or RSS nowadays, you'll be spending hundreds of thousands of rubles just to mod it out once again to take it into another raid. Enter the RFB. Now I've made a video on the RFB in the past and I really liked it and at the time I didn't think it was competing with something like the M1A but now the M1A has become more expensive to mod I now think the RFB has its place in the game. All you need to do is put a foregrip on it, a scope and if you want a suppressor my go-to is the vertical foregrip from Peacekeeper. I put the M bus front and rear sights on for ergonomics and then I put something like a hammer scope on top and then you can either leave it at that and have a nice ergonomic build or you can throw on the SRD suppressor. It will reduce your ergonomics but obviously people like their weapons suppressed. I use this weapon quite a lot suppressed. It's really cheap and really reliable believe it or not. In this video I'm going to be showing you gameplay highlights of me using this weapon over the past few days so I hope you enjoy that. Let me know what you think of this weapon and whether you use it down below in the comments because I don't see many people rocking this weapon at all. So let me know what you think, hope you enjoy the highlights, subscribe, comment, like and all that for the YouTube algorithm. I love your support, I appreciate you so much, see you later. Oh, he's heard someone to the right, could be some of that. Yeah, inside. Ooh. That was from uh, theatre. That's from theatre. A lot of sprinting, Sam. Coming towards me. Outside or in? I don't know. Should I cover outside or in? I don't know. I don't know where they are. Okay. Outside, outside, in the middle. There's two of them. Sanitars guards. Can't see him now. Oh yes, I do. He's dead. Good shit. There's another one at them. Yep, running out the building again. Sanitars inside. He's running down the corridor. One of them's dead, I think. Unless he laid down. Sanitars inside what side? He's outside now. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, he threw an aid. He's gone back inside. I'm in the helicopter. Yeah, I'm three packing. He's pushing. Is that your nade? No. I think there are other people fighting him. Okay. Did she by the ambulance say? Yeah, so there's two people dead, two scabs dead. Okay. I killed one, yeah, you killed onward. the other. Onward. Can't see him. He's right next to me on the right side. He's dead. Good stuff. See a lead X, <laughs> I will come in your mouth for it. I'm looking for you. Outside. Coming in our door that we came in. Grenade. That's mine. Okay. He's got the auto. Is that the other Him. guy shooting? Yeah. We don't know where anyone is. One's dead. There's another one there, he just shot. Is that you on the stairs? Yeah, it's a dead guy here. Okay, they could have killed each other. Or dead he could have. 
Hey guys, I'm here with you. Yeah. Okay. This is the guy I killed. Yeah, this guy's been searched. I think he was the scav. Building. Doors open to the uh, thingy. Pump house. Okay. Sure, it's open or not rendered? It's open. Yeah, the back. Right side. Yeah, I see him. Inside, Sam. Right, right hand window to the door. Oh, yeah. Got him. Shit, one in heaven done. <laughs> nice. That was a lovely snipe. Bear, just see the silhouette. Aim to where I think his head is based on the fact that he's crouched. Get the shoot of one in heaven. In. Clear. What oh, poor guy. Right, so there's some shots in there. Just like that, I suppose. Lovely little weapon. Bush. Why am I 53 kilos? This has got to be a gazelle or something. Nope, it's one of them though. That'll do. Can't complain with that. Right. Um. 
Although I don't need to, I'll just take the good stuff off. Anyway guys, I thank you all for watching all the way to the end of this video. Your support really does mean a lot to me. It allows me to keep doing what I love to do and get new content out for all of you lot. If you like the video that I just put out, then a like is always appreciated. And if you want to stick around and get updated when I upload, then consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. According to YouTube's analytics, then the majority of people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're someone like that, then why not hit that little button below? It's free and it helps my channel out. So what do you really have to lose, right? And if any of you guys are interested in playing demanding games like Tarkov but are struggling with the performance, why not check out Shadow? Shadow is a cloud gaming subscription service that allows you to access a Windows desktop client with the top of the range hardware located at your nearest data center. Shadow is a service that I still use all the time. Anytime I'm out of the office and need to edit a video or record some footage, Shadow is perfect. They're a company that I really enjoy working with and they're ideal for anyone who travels a lot or just someone that can't afford a super high powered PC. Shadow's got many people covered as long as you've got a relatively decent internet connection. If you wanted to check Shadow out then there's a link below that you can go and do your research and find out more about their services. And if you do decide to subscribe to Shadow then you can use my code SAMOSH and you'll save yourself some money which is always worthwhile. I'd like to thank you once again for making it to this point in this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.